Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich and this is a quick tutorial on how to get nifty little icons for your web page or blog. It does require some manual editing on your part, but it's actually pretty easy if you know how to do it. Now you notice on the PC Mechanic site there's actually a little button, oh, well not a button, an icon that shows PC. On my blog I have a little star. And uh, well how do you do this? It's actually pretty simple. Uh, what you can do is take a 16 by 16 image and then if you want it to show up in both Internet Explorer and Firefox slash Netscape, you can get a little utility called PNG2ICO. This is a, uh, and I'll have this linked in the article in the sidebar by the way, so that uh, you can take a, a PNG, Portable Network Graphic Images, which you can use and modify and create with GIMP for Windows or for Linux and then uh, you can use this command line utility in order to convert a PNG file to an ICO which is an icon file. Now if you don't care about Internet Explorer users you can actually uh, Firefox and Netscape will take plain old GIFs, pings, or JPEGs uh, and actually use that as your little favorite icon thing here. And like you notice here I have a test page on my own blog that shows a little animated guy and uh, it shows not only in the address bar but if you're opening a tab it shows it here too it's fairly tacky this is true but I'm just showing it for the uh, sake of example here if you want to go find an animated uh, gif all you have to do is go to GeoCities now I know everyone hates GeoCities and I'm not telling you to use it but to find animated gifs I tell you they have some really old web pages here all you have to do is go to the GeoCities page and then go to the bottom and it says search for site and then just type in animated gif hit the search button scroll down a little bit and look at all these links of just these old school animated gifs uh, it's like a treasure trove of them and uh, I'll just pick a, a random one here and I'll, I'll click uh, miscellaneous now of course we're seeing some really bad cheesy <laughs> really cheesy animated gifs here but I found one that was a little uh, seven up spot and what I did is that I just put it as the code in the page and, and then it actually shows up it resizes it for me and everything so it's uh, really simple to do now when I go and edit this the code which I'll also have uh, in the blog article so watch for that is a uh, link rel equals shortcut icon and then the href and then where the uh, the file is. Now you don't have to host it locally. You can put it on image shack.us or photo bucket and you can pull the image from there. All you have to do is have this uh, anywhere in the web page. Now I thought I'd have to put it in the head content of the HTML file but actually I could just drop this anywhere in the page and Firefox and Netscape 9 will both understand this. Uh, Internet Explorer will not but uh, Firefox and Netscape will. So that's just a, a really cheesy trick in order to get these little animated guys in there. Uh, so if you wanted something a little bit different, a little bit cool for your blog or your website if you host your own domain or something like that, that's essentially how to do it. Again, go to PCMech.com and go to that article for uh, more detailed stuff for links and where to get the GIFs and things like that. And obviously uh, it's better if you use images that you made yourself rather than someone else because some people do copyright animated GIFs so uh, just be aware of that and that's it it's a cheese ball little option and it may be a, a a bit tacky but it is different and if you want to separate your site from other people's sites it's one way of doing it take it easy